Now, if you're a golfer that wants a small and compact player's iron with lots of forgiveness and help, then one of the routes you may have gone down in the last couple of years is TaylorMade's P770. It has been a superb iron and gave an option to a lot of players like me of uh, working with a head profile, it's small and compact, but still plenty of forgiveness. But there is a new iron that has arrived in recent days and it's from PXG and it is their 0317T model. It is again very small, very compact. It's injected with a foam filled hollow body and it is incredibly good from what I've seen so far. The question is how does it compare to what is probably the market leader within that category. Now before we even start about the profile of these things and how they differ I really want to talk about shelf appeal because they are two very very different looking irons and I think that alone could sway you one way or another. P770 is very very clean uh, I think it's a superb finish and a the way this club has evolved and the P790 in recent years, I just think it's a super good looking iron from TaylorMade. You then go into this 0317T and it's very, very different. That weight that is clearly visible at the back side of this thing, I think can be a little bit marmite. And for those of you who don't understand what that means, it's gonna love it or hate it. I personally love it. I'm a big fan of the different look, the different aesthetic that PXG have within their lineup. But I do think for our golfers straight away, there is a decision to be made in terms of which one of these you like the look of on the shelf. So if you're split in terms of the way they look on the shelf, then what about the way they look at a dress? Because I'm drawn to this 0317T model from PXG simply because of its profile and the fact that it is a potentially forgiving tall like iron. So when you put these two together, I think you can see the difference between the two. The P770 is the player's model uh, in terms of hollow bodied irons within TaylorMade's lineup. And I still think there's a shorter, more compact profile into that 0317T. It's uh, a slightly more tall like shaping in my opinion, heel to toe, maybe very similar. Top line again, just a little bit more of chamfering of that top line in the 0317T, which gives that appeal at least that it's a slightly thinner top line. Very much from the, diff uh, from the bottom, there is a difference in terms of width of sole. Again, slightly smaller what you're seeing on the, um, on the PXG 0317. I'll tell you what, let's not go off camera, let's stay there. So we'll go straight into this 0317. I've done a lot of hitting of this this morning um, and a lot of comparisons as well because it's a real interesting product for me on a personal level but I think a lot of golfers could benefit from trying these things and don't be put off by the fact it's classed as a tour model. <clears throat> now again, a little bit bottom groovy and still gets out there. I always say on every review I do, I like to see what a thing does, especially at this end, the players category. Do I still get forgiveness off the bottom of the club face? Well, in that case, it certainly did far better than the, uh, the, the compact impact that I had on that rather. Slightly better strike, but again, just what is so good about these 0317Cs is that they're, and I'm really interested to try this side by side, is that it's the first hollow bodied iron that if you'd have handed it to me in a blind test, not told me that it was hollow bodied with a polymer injection, I would have thought this was a forged iron. It's super soft feel, and like I said, I would have no understanding that this was in fact a hollow bodied iron. That's far better strike, and again, such a crisp. Like I said, for me, you would think you were hitting a forged iron. That's a massive, massive tick in the box of why I would like to be considering playing this type of iron and have been put off in the past. Anyway, I can't knock P770s. I think they're a fantastic iron. They do, um, you know, they just offer up the forgiveness, like I said, in a smaller profile. So it's the P790s little brother, if you like. Again, super high ball. Really good feel again, I mean, what TaylorMade have done, like others, is um, 
improve the model over the years and one of the things they've improved significantly is that sound and feel again but this as with the p790 there's still that little bit of a click to it that i would prefer not to hear but in terms of performance whatever i've seen the p770 it's the type of thing that i wouldn't be necessarily put off by again two really good balls to be honest with the p770 seven iron that launches really high sits in a category that is classed as a player's iron and can i find any difference between hitting this and a p790 i'll be honest with you no i, I really can't and i think that the only thing that differential differentiates those two irons is the strength of loft but everything else about it is um it's just a smaller more compact profile are you comfortable with it when I switch between the two, the big noticeable difference, as I've said with some other reviews, is that sound and feel, the bit that stands it out significantly, and the 0317s. Before I look at sort of data, what they, that tells me, I'll be honest with you, if I was, again, blind testing, didn't know what the numbers were gonna say to me, I'm sort of saying, well look, from a sound and feel perspective, this wins hands down from an aesthetics for me over the ball address this wins hands down so i'm just uh hoping that the numbers are positive as well that's just such a good set of irons it's going to take some pretty damning numbers from trackman to persuade me that this isn't one of the best irons that is currently out there on the market Today's video is brought to you in partnership with Hot Golf, the online golf megastore bringing you the hottest deals in golf and of course the clubs featured in today's video. Find the link to the Hot Golf website in the description below and check out some incredible giveaways and offers. Again at this point I'd love your feedback is what are people's opinions of the 0317T? Is it an iron that you've heard a great deal about because it's fairly been low key i don't think pxg have made as big of a deal of it as what they do when they release the gen 6 irons and and, and range as such and i think they've got a better iron on their hands than they perhaps understand right now so first of all are you aware of it are you going to try it it's 189 a club uh, so again in the higher end in terms of price point and again p770 users if you are one would you consider switching up or is your attention drawn at all to these 0317Ts? Because I think a lot of golfers that sit in that sort of player category, they want to play that kind of club. That's why you're in P770s ultimately most of the time, then this is a real solid option. So I've got to say the only problem with today's test is unfortunately I've only got a seven iron in the P770, so that's as far as we can go. And I would like to have tried the longer end of the bag to see the difference. So I've just made a statement apart about the sort of um, the profile and the feel. So I'm, like I said, unfortunately very positive already towards these 0317 STs, but let's see what data tells us and the averages on screen right now are really really interesting um club head speed 81.6 81.4 on average between the two love the fact that they're pretty much identical 115.8 versus 114.5 we've got a slightly uh better ball speed off the 0317t that's spin number 58 versus 54 again you know, I hit these on a test just not so long ago, and um, the spin number is an interesting one for me. It does fluctuate. I'm happy, more than happy with the spin number that's achieved with both, particularly, again, with this type of iron, hollow body, that being. Um, we've got a carry distance of 160.2 versus 159.6. 19.1 launch versus 20.1 launch, peak height 97, peak height 99, land angle 48.9, land angle 49.3. Look, <clears throat> in terms of data, I don't think there are many irons that would uh, perform as well and certainly would not perform better than either of those two, what they've done in my hand. For me, they're optimal numbers right across the board. It is only seven iron in hand, but you're looking at 
a, a set of data parameters that tick every box right across the board. So from a performance perspective now, there's, if I was getting custom fit, the question I'd be asked is really a decision based on other things than data. And I've already sort of said what I think. So unfortunately for tailor-made, I would lean towards the, the things that draw me towards that 0317T. But that isn't necessarily the case for everybody. And it's quite likely that a few golfers uh, or many golfers would be drawn towards the slightly bigger profile of the P770. So I think it really depends where you sit on the spectrum in terms of what you like to see it address. There's obviously, I said earlier on in the video, the shelf appeal thing, which is quite different, what you wanna see actually in your bag. Um, and they're the things that you're gonna be, uh, and the sound and feel elements, they're the things I think that you're gonna make your decision on if you're comparing these two irons. But ultimately, from a performance perspective, just how good is that data from TrackMan? And I just think well done to TaylorMade, well done to PXG in, in, in getting together two sets of irons that are small and compact, but they've got forgiveness and the ability for golfers like me um, to play this style of iron and not be losing out as we would have done in the past. Short and sweet, that's it, we're done. Thanks for watching, see you all soon.